So, escape, restart. Welcome back, everyone. Today we're taking a look at Prison Architect. And what a beautiful game it is. All the prisoners are sat in their cells. Looking pretty good. There's janitors scrubbing the showers. And there's workmen installing toilets in some of the cells. I hope I can zoom in that far, because the game looked really small a minute ago. The art style's pretty awesome. They're like little Playmobil people with no legs or arms. They have like worms hands that just appear when they're grabbing things. Oh well, so we've got like a full prison simulated then. Oh, there's a priest in there! Talking to a guy with a moustache. Sweet. Okay. Hmm. So this is my prison. The CEO is calling. This is a tough one. There's a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who's been convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. That's where we come in. We've been contracted to construct an execution chamber in time for the guy's big day. <laughs> Where's the death row, dude? Oh, wait, we got to build it here. This is where I want the new facility to be built. First step with any project is to construct the building itself with enough space inside to fit an execution room and a holding cell. Uh, let's get started. Construct a new building here. We'll also need an entrance to the new execution facility. Build a large jail door into the south wall. Okay, so... First, we'll put the foundations in, I guess. Brick or concrete? Huh? Concrete? Like that. And then... What's the CEO saying now? I haven't finished. Workmen are responsible for construction of buildings. They'll collect the steel and concrete from this storeroom and take it to the construction site. They'll use those raw materials to build the foundations and framework of your new building. This is the slowest part of construction, so you should plan ahead when building new facilities. While we wait, take a look around. Yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't even put the door in, mate. Slow down. Large jail door goes there. And building brick. Outdoor only. Blocked. Wait, what? Huh? What? I think I just failed the tutorial, you know? I'm not really sure. I don't know. Huh? Oh, I, oh, so I made the whole thing out of concrete. Ah, oh, it's okay. Inside the building, I want a cell and an execution room. Partition the space by constructing brick walls. Right, now I see. Brick walls. Put a brick wall there, brick wall there, there and there. It's a bit like making a star made ship interior. <laughs> Just top down only. Where are my workmen at? They're so lazy. Oh, here they come. It's funny, there's a guard with the workmen at all times. Or is he just for the storage room? It must be the storage room. Okay, build the internal walls, guys. Do you know what? This is actually pretty funky. Oh, what? Have they run out of... Uh, they run out of materials there. <laughs> this is great. And off they go. Now add large jail doors to those. Push R to rotate. Large jail door one. Push R. Jail door two. Sweet. Easy as pie so far. Just got to wait for my workmen to come back. Come on, guys. Oh, wow. They go slow because they've got big doors in their hands. Uh -huh. 
Actually, this is pretty cool. Well, I would say that I'm building my execution chamber. They talk about, you know, do a, do a cool part of the game. Designate rooms within those spaces. Designate a cell in the smaller area where our condemned inmate will live. Uh, designate, then, then designate execution room. Okay, so rooms, cell. Needs to use the whole room. Enclosed, fail, enclosed, fail, bed and toilet. <laughs> Um, uh, it's not a legal room, because... <laughs> execution! Okay, then what do I need? Right, those new rooms have requirements before they become functional. The cell needs a bed and a toilet. The execution room requires the electric chair. So let's just put a bed in here. And an electric chair there. And a toilet. Wait, let's rotate it. Yeah, put it that way around because it's funny. And uh, there we go. Right. So now we just wait for those workmen to come. Is one of them going to have a bog in his hands? Oh, just one guy, huh? Really? Aren't you going to help him out? He's like, I've got this. Oh, wait, what? He's putting it together piece by piece. Oh! Badass! Okay, so what? Now I just need the toilet and the bed. Come on, guys, help him out. Seriously. I'm just letting Chuck do all the work. Is his last name Norris? I'm guessing so. Oh wait, no, I tell a lie. We've got some other people have arrived from God knows where, carrying a bed and a toilet. They didn't come from the stores though, so... I don't know where they came from. CEO is calling. There are still a few improvements you could make. It's up to you though. These aren't strictly required. It depends how much you care about your prisoners and their environment. Okay, the cell itself could be improved with an outward facing window and a small bookshelf. And the facility would look better with a higher quality floor material like wooden floorboards or mosaic tiles. <laughs> Outside you could add some lighting and a paved pathway if you think it needs it. So it's sort of a bit like theme park, but it's theme prison. Oh. Oh. This is the man in question. A teacher once, would you believe? It's not our place to decide if he deserves this. The law has made that decision. We're just here to do a job. Once you are satisfied the facility is ready, you can begin the prisoner transfer to his new cell. Simply click on him to select him, then right click just outside his cell to initiate the transfer. Right, well, to be fair, I think I can you know, he's going to die, so, you know, a window I don't think is going to hurt, because, you know, his window basically faces a wall anyway. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, I've got a window, and it's, based, it's facing a wall. Yeah. But at least it's a window. At least it's a window, yeah, at least he can see the light of day. Um need a light. Where do we put the lights at? They go in the roof. Cause I don't I don't like this whole install light in cell. Uh, what else have we got? A bookshelf. And he is going to die. So yeah. I think we can give him a bookshelf right next to the... Wait a minute. That's not a window, is it? Hmm. I don't think something's not quite right with that window. Hmm. 
I'm supposed to turn it round. Right, so that's my first thing. Sell object. Hmm. Dismantle object. There we go. Because that window is not very secure. Paving stone. So the paving stone goes outside. I've got a light there, which I don't really know why I've got a light there, but you know. Uh, wow, TV, weight bench. There's all kinds of stuff he, this guy could have. Sprinkler. Sweet. Okay. Paving stone. All right, let's uh, get a bit of that paving stone. And go like that. There we go. Paving it and paving it. <laughs> okay, that'll do. I got any more objects? Oh, what? Huh? There's even more of them? Oh my god. Should we give the guy on death row a drinks machine? <laughs> That's not a good idea. What about a phone booth? <laughs> oh, hello. What are they doing out? An escape hatch? <laughs> yeah, give him an escape hatch. We'll put a drain. Should we put a drain in the... Uh, Death Row, in Death Row. <laughs> Do you reckon he's got a chance to use it to escape? <laughs> Hello, Ryben. <coughs> Hello, Ryben. Welcome to the stream. Is he here? I can't see Team Speak. There he is. Ryben's here. Welcome. And hello, everyone on the stream as well. I'm not ignoring you guys. Just playing a bit of Prison Architect. Redo the flooring with higher quality materials. I don't know if I've got any higher quality materials. So what's up, Ryben? Can't hear you if you're talking. Again? Say what? Can you hear me now? Yes, just about. Need to go up a little bit? Um, no, it's okay. Okay. Ah, mosaic floor. There we go. Put some mosaic flooring down in the execution room. I love Prison Architect. I'm addicted to that game. Oh, are you? I've never played it, mate. This oh, is my it's first great. game. It's What's fun, this dude. remove tunnels for? What? The, Remo your prisoners will seriously try to dig their way out of your prison if you're not no. if you're not careful. Oh, yeah, they will. And if you oh, have the large, large water pipes, they'll crawl into those things and just get out. You want to you want to get dog, uh, canine guards or whatever, and they can somehow sniff out tunnels and contraband. Oh right. Well, I'm just. I going think it's because they can hear people like picking at it. Yeah, yeah. The tutorial will get you up to speed on kind of how to set everything up, but yeah, it's a good time. It is. It's also, fun. 
if you click on your money once you're in your own game or whatever, yeah. you can pick up grants. So you'll have to do a certain amount of stuff, but you'll get it like a, say it's like a fifty thousand, you know, dollar. If you will, let's use dollars for simplicity's sake, you know, they grant. Yeah. yeah, and if if you if you get a fifty thousand dollar grant, they'll give you like twenty or thirty thousand to basically build whatever it is that is on the grant, right? So you'll have to build this, that, or the other thing, or do these things. And then you get the rest of the money. Right. But it really, but I would really suggest taking, you know, you can take up to two at a time, at least when you start. I would seriously suggest taking those at the beginning of the game because you will, you will so go so far in the hole if you don't. if I click on money, grant, spill mm -hmm. the, oh. Yeah. Tool clean so, out. Remove supply so, of stolen yeah. tools. How the hell do you do all these? Yeah, don't worry about that right now in the tutorial, but in the uh, in the first, when you're first starting out, they're really important when you start right. your uh, start a new game. Right. That's all. Ah, that's it. I've got to click on the prisoner and sh say transfer or something, haven't I? Yeah, I think you just right-click where you want them to go. Uh, search, search, no. Right-click him. I think so, and then you just right click into that area that he needs to go to. Edward carrying. Why is he carrying jail keys? Oh, Dude, get rid of them. The, the guy on the guy on death row has jail keys. He's yeah. He's so he doesn't need an escape hatch. No, he's gonna. <laughs> he's just gonna walk out the door and leave. <laughs> he's just gonna walk out. Yeah. <laughs> so one's my execution call from the okay. chief. Oh, I'll see you guys on. later. It's just like the guy who was on death row. And they asked him what he wanted for his final meal. And he said peanut butter and jelly Jesus. sandwich, like my mama used to make. And he ate it. Stone cold killer. Right. Right. Don't shed a tear for this guy. Guilty as charged. He even confessed. Want to hear his description of what he did? It's juicy stuff. Pretty dark. It was around eleven. The lights were already on. I knew she was home. Oh what? Wait, are we gonna oh, get yeah. a reenactment of what he did? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! No! Oh yeah! It gets Bye, honey. dark. I'm home. There's a Bible on the table. There's a knife on the stove, and she's just chilling in bed. Oh wait, maybe not so much chilling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like that bit from the Slim Shady video. Yeah. Except it gets more Slim Shadier. Uh. Oh dear, he's gonna do it. And we all know what happened next. They're both dead, and the guy with the mustache is going to jail. Now he's going to the electric chair. Yeah, he is. Also, he's like, <laughs> oh, go ahead. Wow. Well, that escalated quickly. Right. He's got jail keys. Search him. How do we search him? I don't want him to escape. 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 It's double premeditated murder. Wow. He's been nothing but co Oh, and the priest is trying to defend him and stuff. Yeah. If, he, if he'd committed his crime a hundred miles north, he'd be looking at life prison. Life, yeah, but then he didn't. So that's, you know, where you live. Yeah, that's sort of the, you the know, rough part. A hundred miles or ten meters, it's still the wrong side of the line, isn't mm -hmm. it? Good night! He's gonna so make a break So, people watching it, Tamino's man. stream, what Tamino is trying to say is, if you're gonna murder someone, make sure you mi check out the local laws to make sure you're not gonna go for a death <laughs> sentence. And you're it's gonna all about prep life in It's all about preparation. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't prepare. Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. Is this the right advice? It's okay. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Good enough. <laughs> Whatever. Right. So the execution room still isn't functioning because it hasn't got any power. Well, you 
could have told me that before. This guy looks like, what's his, what's his name? <laughs> I don't make prisons, but if I did, <laughs> they'd be the best damn prisons <laughs> ever. The CEO is a meme. <laughs> yeah, no, he really is. I'm going to go mm -hmm. play with Legos now. Okie dokie. And build a prison. Seconds. Okay. Build a prison. <laughs> yeah, build a prison. Right, back to prisons. Uh, totally. Gonna do that. So, the CEO is wanting me to check out the power grid. Thick underground cable. So, let's do it. So apparently this is the prison substation which draws electricity from the national grid. Okay. As you can see, this entire wing of prison cells is without power. To fix this, we need to switch into utilities mode to understand why the lights are without power. Okay, so we're in... Yeah, well, I think that's pretty much why, isn't it? No is there a dead power. guy in there? No, no, not yet. Alright, so go into utilities mode. Yep, and get electrical cable and drag it out. Did that work? No, it didn't work. Huh? Ah. Can house confuse? Oh, right, okay, okay, okay. So I think if I... Do it like this. Mm, is that going to work? Mm. It's not like redstone. Uh. Or star made logic. Oh, that would have been easy. Really just gone power this, this, and this, done. Oh, wait, no, they would have automatically been powered because this is just one entity, lol. <laughs> Okay, phone's ringing. What's up? Lights aren't the only thing that needs power. Your new electric chair does too. Yep, doing it. Oh! We're nearly there. Just a few more pieces. Huh? There we go. Nice. Electrical chair is a special type. It needs a dedicated power line. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> We're almost done. Need to test it. Is it well I think I must have done it. Did I do it right? <coughs> what are we testing it or something? That didn't work. Looks like we drew too much power and tripped a circuit breaker in the power station. The whole prison is dark. We're going to need more juice. Hmm. Turn the power back on. Two-step process. Step one, switch each capacitor on by clicking on them in utilities mode. Switch step two. Okay, right. So, what? what? Build three more capacitor capacitors. Capacitators. So, in utilities mode, go click, no, click, click, what, well, that didn't work. Switch on, ah, on, 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 <laughs> just like a circuit breaker, that's really funny, you gotta go and flip all the switches. Test the chair. 
turn on utilities mode and click on it. Right, where are my workmen at? You lazy boys. There they are. Carrying capacitors. Can I follow this guy? Wait, what? Follow him. Nice. Right then, so we're doing pretty good. We've nearly got our electric chair running. So far, so good. Nice. Right, now let's test the chair again. Turn it on! Well done. We're finished. What happens now is out of our hands. <coughs> oh wow, it's a, a Jesus figurine. <laughs> We have a chapel in our church. What? Prison even? Uh -uh. Wait. Someone's come into the prison. Uh, church. What's he gonna say? Uh. -uh. Can I help you? He wants forgiveness. Hmm. It's time. No green mile? Oh well. You've been found guilty. Do you have anything to say? Susan, I'm sorry. Huh. Well. Too late. Mm-hmm. White screen is white. Or was it black to begin with? Seriously? Okay. Deaths won today. Press S to continue, it says. What, is that it then, is it? Is the, do I have to, like, create a new prison now? It didn't no. really tell me. Well, I don't know if you have to make a new one, but you go through more than one prisoner. Hmm. It, it might be kind of silly. And then... Then again, they did just drop you right into the game without a menu, so... Yeah, true. Maybe we shouldn't assume. Okay, right. In that I case, assume. That was a cool tutorial, though. I'm going to see what happens when I do a new prison, so thanks for watching.